I'm Pat Archibald, I'm a textile artist and I'm here at Festival Quilts in Birmingham where I have a stand, I'm doing demonstrations at my stand every day and I also have the opportunity to teach and just now I'm going to give you a couple of demonstrations of the style of work that I love doing. So the first one is working with markles. Now these are oil paint sticks, so they're a mixture of oil, pigment and wax. They're incredibly user friendly, they don't change the handle of the fabric at all and they come in a wonderful range of colours. My favourite range is the iridescent colours which provide a just lovely shimmer in the work that I do. So to work with them, well first of all they come with a little cling film on them, obviously take that off and then they have a little skin on them. So the best way to remove that is just to take a craft knife and just to scrape that skin off and underneath you'll find that you have a nice creamy paint. One of the ways that I like to work with them is with stencils. So I'm just going to cut a very simple stencil here. I'm just going to do a lovely heart shape and just taking my scissors just nick into it and cut out the heart. Now this is going to leave you with an aperture and it is the aperture that is going to be the important part of this. So just cut round. It's an asymmetrical heart so I don't need to be too fussy about how I'm cutting it out but there's a nice shape for me to work with. I'm now going to take that and this is a piece of freezer paper that I've been working with so it has got a potentially sticky side to it. It won't add any nasties into the work at all and it will be easily removable. So I'm going to take it to my iron with the shiny side down and I'm going to iron it in position there. Hot dry iron, no steam required with freezer paper. So I'm going to take the markle, that soft creamy paint in a stick, I'm going to load some up onto my brush here, a nice soft stencil brush. Just check that you've got some on the brush there by dabbing some off on some kitchen towel. And then going to your stencil, brushing in from the edge of the stencil, and that will give you a nice sharp edge in a minute. Don't overload the fabric with paint at this point. And the other thing that I like to do is intermix the colours and you can do this actually on the fabric. So taking my second colour and loading it up on the brush again, just getting a little touch of that lovely iridescent purple on my brush and just brushing that into my fabric. So I'm blending the two colours within that heart shape here. Now it doesn't look as if I put an awful lot of paint on the fabric there. The mask makes it a little bit confusing. So you can just check it by peeling off an edge and if you think there's enough paint on the fabric, and I'm absolutely sure there is, then peel off your freezer paper template and then you have been left with a lovely image of a heart there. Now the first thing I do, because I want to continue working, I'm so excited that I just want to keep going with the work that I'm doing, is I'm going to heat set this. So a bit of kitchen paper, top and bottom, and just iron that off. Now that will be a first heat set. That's going to allow me to continue working with the piece. I can layer it up, I can stitch into it, I can embellish it with my threads. Leave it for a couple of days. The, it has to air set and these oils will evaporate and you'll have to do a second heat set in exactly the same manner in two days time. That will then mean that the paints are set into the fabric. Your fabric will be hand washable. It will never be dry cleanable, but it will be hand washable. And that is your end result there. I have some finished pieces here to show you. So that's one of my finished pieces where I've used a series of Japanese Cayman symbols, these are the crests of the Japanese families and I just always enjoy working with them. And these are more complex stencils, so in any of the kits that you buy you'll find that you have a pattern which you would trace off onto the freezer paper and then you would cut out the area to give you the apertures. Again it's the aperture that you're interested in and working with and that is the end result of working with that particular stencil. 
You can also add texture into the work that you do and you can do that with anything around the house that has some texture in it. So here I've got some wallpaper, some textured wallpaper, pop that underneath. This time, instead of working with the brush, work with the markles just straight from the stick there. And as you brush them over, work them into the fabric, your fabric is going to pick up the texture there. Another thing that a lot of crafters will have around the house is sequin waste. So again, you can put that underneath your fabric, work with the markle, put it on top, work with a stencil brush. Different ideas for you. I hope you've enjoyed that little demonstration and it's inspired you to go on and think about working with markles and putting them into your work. Thank you.